This is a separate end face, a different jumper. And you'll notice it's pretty clean. We have a few spots here. Let's contaminate this with a, um, uh, an often used uh, soil, a fingerprint. Now it's pretty hot and um, uh, humid here. And you'll notice this would not be unlike the type of a fingerprint um, that could end up on a jumper on an end face uh, in OSP on a, um, uh, a hot, um, hot and humid uh, day in any part of the country. Um, typically this is cleaned with a high purity IPA and the isopropyl alcohol is oftentimes stored in a, um, in a pump bottle. But let me show you what happens when you remove, when you um, let the alcohol out of the bottle. You're actually bringing moisture into um, into the solvent. The same thing happens with a um, with a pump bottle, a Menda type bottle. As you pump down, the solvent comes up, but um, it brings uh, moisture into the high purity alcohol. This degrades it and degrades it pretty rapidly. So um, let's see if we can clean this. Let's see if we can wet clean it and let's see if we can dry it. Here's a high purity isopropyl alcohol pad and the typical technique that I've seen is to just uh, draw it through. Sometimes um, the technician will actually do it in a figure eight and they'll do it several times. Now that looks clean. Let's see if we can dry it. What oftentimes you'll see is that the drying process isn't all that easy or isn't all that effective. And this is because the alcohol from just that cleaning that typically is done is sent from the vertical ferrule to the horizontal ferrule. So wet to dry, the wet to dry process isn't really all that effective all of the time. I'm trying to dry this. What's troublesome is that I oftentimes will get a clear image here. There's a clear image here, but as you move out to the side, solvent is actually being leached from the vertical ferrule to the horizontal ferrule. So a clear image here within the purview of most 200 to 400 video scopes doesn't necessarily mean that the wet to dry process or that the um, end face has been effectively dried.